Hello, welcome to another edition of the CTO Advisor. Now you probably noticed that I look a little bit different than the typical CTO Advisor host, Keith Townsend. Um, he actually allowed me to sit in and host today. Uh, my name is Bobby Allen. I'm the CTO of a company in Charlotte, North Carolina called Cloud Jenner. And I have the privilege of hosting uh, Manoj Sharma from Cloud Simple on the program today. Manoj, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, we want to talk a little bit about Cloud Simple. There's a lot of buzz about you guys in the market right now, social media. You know, give us kind of the, the least that people need to know about who you are, what you do, what are your products, how can you help the enterprise? Talk to us about that a little bit. Yeah, so Cloud Simple is a startup based in the Bay Area. Um, we were started about three years ago in 2016. Mm -hmm. And what we do is enable VMware consumption as a service in mm -hmm. a public cloud. Okay. And our platform and our technology powers a service that the public cloud provider actually creates and provides. Okay. So the service that we are in market with uh, is uh, Azure VMware Solutions. Okay. It is an offering uh, in the Azure cloud uh, from Microsoft that you buy from Microsoft and Microsoft supports it as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. uh, and VMware and us are involved in the background the, the platform and the solution is powered by our technology, mm -hmm. but it is a Microsoft offering. Okay. And that is our, uh, that is our model with, uh, with them and will be our model with our, the, the second provider that we have announced with, which is Google. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, this was announced recently. Um, that offering also will be a Google uh, cloud offering for VMware. Wow. And uh, however, uh, you know, the the exact mechanics of the go-to-market have to be figured out because it's mm -hmm. coming later this year, mm -hmm. but Google will be the first line of support okay. for it as well. Excellent. So it seems like it's very well integrated with what the hyperscale provider is actually doing. So Manoj, talk us through the contrast maybe between this VMware offering on top of Azure powered by Cloud Simple compared to say VMC on AWS. What do people need to know about the differences? Yeah, that's a great question. So I think uh, in in almost uh, all the key respects, it's very much the same, mm -hmm. but in many respects, it's very different. So let me highlight the similarities first. It is the VMware platform. It's native vSphere, vCenter, NSX, vSAN mm -hmm. on a hyper-converged bare metal infrastructure okay. running inside a public cloud provider mm -hmm. uh, environment, right? And uh, from that standpoint, it offers you the operational continuity, uh, with IT, mm -hmm. you get to bring in your existing tools and processes and skills, mm -hmm. and you can lift and shift uh, into the cloud without uh, any disruption, right? Okay. Compared to going to native in the public cloud and re-architecting applications in IT, mm -hmm. which is uh, which doesn't really pan out well for existing infrastructure at least. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so from that standpoint, it's very much the same. You get the the platform you know and love mm -hmm. uh, in the same way as you consume it on-prem, or you might be consuming in VMware Cloud on AWS as well. Mm -hmm. But um, in some other key respects, it's different. Uh, so for example, VMware Cloud on AWS is offered by VMware, mm -hmm. and uh, it is uh, sold and supported by them. And so if you want to kind of go for your the rest of your cloud needs, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak, you would go to AWS, right? Okay. Uh, if, you're, if, you're, if you're interested in, in the combined solution, mm -hmm. uh, whereas, um, with the Azure VMware solution by Cloud Simple, mm -hmm. since it's a Microsoft offering, mm -hmm. in one contract, in one ELA, right. you get everything else in the cloud buffet, mm -hmm. and you get VMware, right? right? right. And if there's any problem from, um, from a networking standpoint, you're trying to connect from a VMware workload uh, to a cloud workload, or trying to build some sort of hybrid uh, mm -hmm. experience for customers or whatnot, Let's say you have some questions, uh, you would go to oh, the one neck to choke, which is Microsoft. That, exactly, I was gonna say the same thing, right? The executives in technology want one neck to choke, don't send me around to different people, let me know exactly who's accountable, who's gonna help me. So, so one thing that knows is interesting to me, when I think about Cloud Simple, so you're gonna be sitting on top of, of Azure, you've already got a great solution at Azure, you're gonna be in Google, is there anything about your solution that, that allows uh, multi-cloud workload portability or the ability to kind of shift things around between different venues? Yeah, so uh, our strategy as a company is to be a provider-first solution. Okay. Meaning that we create a service inside the provider and 
the provider offers it to the market, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, essentially, we don't kind of disintermediate between providers, right? We are, you know, when we are in Azure, we are an Azure first offering. When we are in Google, we are a Google first offering. Okay. However, by the very nature of our platform, which is VMware, mm -hmm. and the whole point of that being it's the same experience everywhere as we were discussing, mm -hmm. you could, at the VMware layer, uh, create a triangle between an on-premise deployment mm -hmm. uh, or one of the cloud providers and another provider and okay. kind of have your workload move freely across them okay. or a mesh, so to speak, right? Uh, for higher availability purposes, um, for being able to reach customers where the right location is, mm -hmm. you know, um, and uh, perhaps to take advantage of unique service offerings that the provider might have. Okay. So, so one of the things that I find a lot in talking to the enterprise, I'd love to get your thoughts. When people are moving more close to the cloud, you know, you can do lift and shift, but there are a lot of studies, you know, Keith has talked many times on the program about how lift and shift often fails. Do you give any coaching around how things need to change, behavior, yeah. culture, yeah. outside of the technology, what yeah. else people need to do to really leverage the cloud well? Yeah, I think, so I think firstly, the definition of lift and shift is changing hmm. uh, because What's happening is um, lift and shift used to be about re-architecture of your applications. Okay. You're going from traditional to cloud native, mm -hmm. microservices and other services, mm -hmm. uh, serverless. That, sh that change is hard, okay. right? Because oftentimes the developers who wrote that code or the, the operators who glued it together, mm -hmm. they're, no, they're not in the company, perhaps, right? right? It right. was put together five years Plus ago. the application, they moved on. Yeah. yeah, and so trying to take what you have, which you don't perhaps fully understand, mm -hmm. and trying to you know, put the Lego blocks for something that looks the same mm -hmm. somewhere else mm -hmm. is a, a tough deal. Uh, and so that's why I think you know, people have a bad impression about lift and shift. Now, I think what we are doing with our platform, what VMware is doing with VMware Cloud and AWS is saying no. You don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. You get, if you want the cloud, you get the cloud. Mm -hmm. But if you want the platform you like, you get that platform. Right. So all your tools, your skills, your processes, you know, applications mm -hmm. and workflows, uh, audit, compliance, mm -hmm. the list goes on and on. They can remain the same. The right? consistency. The consistency mm -hmm. is, is now there. And so I think the architecture we have created and the option we have created now actually makes lift and shift possible, easy and seamless. Mm -hmm. Got it. So one of the other things I'd love to know, obviously you work with customers, you understand the types of workloads that fit or not. How would you, so you're talking to a CIO, he says, I love the Cloud Simple Solution, been thinking about Azure, have a heavy VMware footprint. How would you help them figure out which workloads are a good candidate for this service offering? And yeah. the ones maybe that aren't ready just yet. Yeah. So I'll, I'll give you some word of an obvious answer and perhaps not, not so obvious uh, mm -hmm. answer. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, from one point of view, you might think, okay, you know, what are the good that the workloads that are good for Azure Cloud, right? Mm -hmm. And and workloads that are good for AWS, perhaps, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And think, okay, uh, okay, with those types of applications, perhaps I should choose my provider. Um, so, for example, if you have Windows um, uh, VMs and you have Windows app. Uh, Microsoft applications, mm -hmm. uh, then perhaps you might want to choose the Azure provider. And uh, you know, if you're developing, you know, modern applications, perhaps you want to go to AWS. Mm -hmm. But I think, I think that is uh, not uh, the right way to look at it because, Agreed. firstly, uh, like the VMware platform is a neutral horizontal platform, yes. right? And it spans everything in IT and every yes. type of application under the sun. Mm -hmm. Every provider is also building a platform that supports all sorts of applications and mm -hmm. workloads mm -hmm. with a myriad services and it's hard to find differences anymore now between mm -hmm. cloud providers, although there are still some. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think the right way to look at this is, you know, what what is the provider that you would like to build a long-term relationship with, Excellent. right? How do you see the future of your company mm -hmm. and perhaps, um, you know, choose one, mm -hmm. right, and try to make that work. Mm -hmm. It's good to have other options, uh, you know, and with the VMware platform now, you, you have those options. Mm 
uh, but uh, you know, don't really pigeonhole your application thinking right. into uh, into the dimensions that don't really matter. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we were talking a little bit off camera just to get um, some other history about the firm. Young company, founded in 2016, I believe, right here, based in Silicon Valley. You all are again have a lot of wind in your sails right now, a lot of momentum. Um, as we kind of give you the final word, Manoj, uh, what is it that people need to know? Tell them how they can follow you and the company on social media as well, and how would they get more information if they wanted to get started with going down this path? Yeah, firstly, for people in the VMworld show, you know, they can find us in the Microsoft booth, they can find us in the Google booth, they can find us in a lot of our partners uh, who, have, uh, who are very happy and excited to work with us, Zerto, Rubrik, Veeam, um, and, and, and others, HP, mm -hmm. in fact, as well. Um, but uh, in general, uh, you know, we, uh, we are on social media with at Cloud Simple, okay. right? That's a good way to follow uh, what's happening in the company. Okay. But in general, like I said, our strategy is provider first, right? Mm -hmm. We put the provider in, in front of us um, mm -hmm. and between the customer. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to follow what's going on in Azure, mm -hmm. go to Azure VMware Solutions and you right. can, and all the new features and capabilities, mm -hmm. they're coming from us, but it's offered by Microsoft mm -hmm. and follow Google to figure out, Google Cloud to figure out what's going on on their VMware approach. Okay. And, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are going to power that as well. Thank you, Manoj. We appreciate it. Thank you for being on the program with us. Again, I'm not Keith, I'm Bobby, uh, but check back in with the CTO advisor. You've heard that it's a multi-cloud and a hypervised or a hybrid cloud world. Stay with Keith, watch what's happening with the CTO advisor to get kind of the leash you need to know about what's happening, how to navigate all this myriad of choices. Tune in, subscribe to the content, find more great guests like Minos to understand products in the market that can really help you transform your business. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bobby.